right, everyone. I hope you guys are having a great day. So I wanted to, to give you a little ending to my video, to my fishing um, outing today. So what I did was I ordered a box of crickets or a tube of crickets and a tube of grasshoppers off of Amazon. The name of the brand, I wish I still had the tube that I'll show you guys, but the name of the brand is called Flukers. F-L-U-C-K-E-R apostrophe S crickets or grasshoppers you can look on Amazon look at it they preserve they, they real they preserve so my um, my outcome of it is they do work you saw I caught some really really decent bluegills um, these are this is the Louisville urban Louisville canals Lake Vista canals um, but they do come off easy so if you don't like the best with worms, the red worms, you don't mind touching these crickets and stuff, uh, you can order them. What I would say is instead of casting like I was and letting it sit on the bottom, because they put it off easy, they use a bobber. Out there in the canals, it's only like three to six feet deep. So put a bobber on it, a little, little hook on it, split shot, drop down. You're going to see that bobber move, it's an indicator. You can set the hook and you're gonna up your increase in catching. I guarantee you will. But uh, one out of 10, honestly, I'll probably give it a nine. You know, you saw the fish, I, they were quality fish. Um, and I was just out there for about 40 minutes. I wasn't out there long at all. Um, so uh, I'm gonna do it again. Um, I'm at, those, those bluegill were actually decent. Providence that I go to, it's a pretty far drive. I live I live out in Fort North Dallas. Um, so the Louisville Canals is right around the corner for me. Um, and those were quality. Those were some of the best bluegill I think I caught out there in a while. So I'm going to go back when I decide I want some more bluegills. I'm going to go there. I don't have to drop out with a Providence. But Providence got those big ones. Um, eight inch or up. You know, some big, big bluegill. But, uh. So I'm going to actually do another video and it's going to be same thing grasshopper crickets but I'm going to use a bobber and I'm going to try to get a little bit more uh, <laughs> a little bit more content for you. Hey, what you doing? Uh, get a little bit more content for you guys. Um, one of the twins is want to talk to me. Um, I'm going to let you see one of the twins. Hey, come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, why you gonna come talk to me then you don't wanna come? I want to come right now. Yeah. Alright, well she didn't wanna come in. She didn't wanna be on camera, so but uh you guys, yeah, get you some grasshoppers or crickets off of Amazon, give it a try. Bobber, hook up under it, don't cast, and go and catch a lot of bluegills. But until next time you guys have a blessed Sunday. Uh, hope your work week is great. And we're going to make some video next week. So I don't know what I'm going to go for. But it's just been crappies and bluegill lately. So I don't know. Might surprise you guys. Might surprise you. Might be something a little bit different. You guys have a great one. Peace. Grass is cutting nice. All right, we'll start right here. Let's try the crickets one more time. That, yeah, the crickets. And then those crickets are coming off easy. Not real easy. All right. I wish it was them, big, them bigger gills out here. It won't come off easy. They'll just water the whole thing. Okay, so let's go with the cricket again. I'm gonna put two of them on there. Just to give it a little flavor. Looks like it could be probably shoot. 50 to 75 crickets in there. And it was only a couple dollars. All right, so this is gonna be the first cast over by the rocks. 
and the water is up a little bit the rock well now you see you can see the rocks so the water still way down way down make sure this uh in case something big hit this And you know where the gills? There we go. Oh, I got hung up. Well, I thought I had something big. Something right there. And that's gonna break a rock, probably. Yep. That's part of the game. That's part of the game. So what I'm gonna do, actually I'm gonna switch it over to a smaller hook. There we go. So I'm gonna put a hook on here. Not not the 116 I jig head. I'm gonna put a hook. Just a loop knot. Nothing special. There we go. Hit it, hit it with a couple twists. Give it some double double power. Or double strength, hopefully. There we go. And then what I'm gonna do is put a couple split shots on here. Maybe one or two. I'm gonna drag the bottom. Okay. There we go. All right, so we're going to put a cricket. This is a nice cricket right here on that. There you go. I'm gonna drag that bottom. I might get hung up again. I gotta remember where that little piece was at. I just lost something like a big rock or something. So, let me toss that right here. It went out far too. You're gonna get on that bottom. Then once on that bottom, just gonna drag it back. See if anything will take it. I should get some kind of bite, but they might not be here. You never know. They could go out of that deep water. Or whatever the deep part of this thing. Cause see, I should have felt the tap by the end. I felt the rocks for sure. I for sure felt that. Might start casting out these, uh, might start casting out, um, the, uh, bass rod
way like that. I got a hard bite just then. He got that off. No. I got a hard bite, yeah. No. He tried to get it off. God dog. That was a hard bite, you guy. Let's get back to that bottom. I need a bobber. He put it just in. They out there. There we go. First one. First one. They out there. That's a good one too. Look at there. First one. It's a decent one. So, my first bluegill catching off of a cricket probably in, since I was probably 10 years old. I know I used to fish for them, but uh, it's been a long time I can't even remember using crickets. But I know I used when I was probably back in Arkansas, Louisiana. There we go. First one. We got ants. Ants galore. Around the All right. Let's see what happened. I should get something right there. Some kind of tap. There we go. There we go. This is a good one. Look at that one, you guys. That's a nice one. For right here. Heck yeah, that's a nice one. For I right hear it is. Well, actually, it's a nice one for anywhere. Not no big crazy big in my hand, but you can flay that. Flay about 20 of those and you're good to go. He was pulling too, like he was a lot bigger than that. So crickets too. And I'm sure they'll, they'll hit both of them. Cricket and the grasshopper about the same way. Bluegill, they don't discriminate. Throw something down there and see what happens. There we go. Boy, he tightened that line up. These some, uh, hey, you guys, y'all better get out of here. Look at that. These are some decent, decent bluegills. And this right before a storm, it's probably about like one something. Look at that bluegill. So these are the male bluegills. That's pretty. That is very, 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 very pretty uh, bluegill. So I'm going to switch it up. I'm gonna put a cap on this. The ants are everywhere. They're trying to get, get to the whatever they're trying to eat. And uh, now we're gonna take out and I'm gonna put my, I don't, I'm gonna put my tackle box on top of this. I'll deal with them ants later. All right, so now this is the grasshopper. And I'm thinking the same outcome. The same exact outcome. Grasshopper and the crickets are basically similar.
right? Yeah, they similar. Actually, look just alike. So we got a couple, couple of them that fell out right here. So these are the grasshoppers. I'm trying to say these things. These are the grasshoppers right there. I think it was another one over here somewhere. Or two of them actually. And um, my fish was up. So let's see what they do with these grasshoppers. Same thing, just throw out. Let it hit that bottom. And then just slowly bring it back and see if we see if you full uh fill a tug. Probably got it off. Did he get it off? Nope. But he he pulled it off. Let it get to that bottom. On that bottom, okay. Ooh, what are these jokers? Are tapping away. There we go. First one on the grasshopper, and it's a good one too. All of them are actually good. There you go. Switched over from that uh, 116 ounce jig head to, that's a good one too to a, a regular hook and a split shot on top. And I think that did the job too. Made it a little bit easier for the for the uh, fish to get those in there, get them in their mouth. So basically that hook, this lays on the bottom and that just drags behind it, kind of floating. That's why you feel those taps. And if you let it sit there, they normally will set it themselves or you can just give it a little, you ain't gotta like set it like for a bass or nothing. He got that off. No, he didn't. He didn't get it off, but he hit it. Hope you guys are having a great Sunday. We need this rain though. Thought it was gonna rain for last week, but like it shifted a little bit. So, there we go. It's some nice, hey guys, look at that. It is some nice bluegills right here today. So they don't move back in. Man, that's a nice bluegill. Jeez, if I hear them, come on. That is a nice one. Yeah, that's a very nice bluegill. Right here. There you go, you guys. They're not crazy, they're not huge, like, you know, half a pound or nothing, but for here, for this area, man, these are nice bluegill. You can take these any day. These are very nice. Get to go back, get bigger for me next year.